No, if you might, he, he was offering my help to get on to Facebook. Because he'll be on, and I don't, no, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, your daughter will love. Yeah. 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 Like you took a look at the dead You're sick, right? You're really at the bar. Right. <laughs> you ready, Cap? Come on. Ready? Good afternoon. Friday's Cocktail Corner here at Mr. C's Beast Bistro. Kevin, my bartender, will be doing a couple drinks for you tonight, today. And we're just going to experiment, then we'll vote and see which one we like the best. Kevin, what are we doing today? Today we're making three drinks. I'm making a Space Gin Smash, I'm making a Kentucky Buck, and I'm making a Lavender Watermelon Martini. They're all delicious, and I hope you enjoy them. All right, what are we going to do first, Kev? We're going to make our Space Gin Smash. I'm not sure where the name comes from, but it's a delicious drink nonetheless. I'm going to start off with a couple of slices of apple, nice and crisp. Do you always use a green apple? No, I just use whatever apple looks good today when I'm shopping. I always buy the best ingredients. I'm gonna throw in a couple of our grapes. I'm gonna throw in a few mint leaves. I love the smell of mint. Oh, maybe a little more. It never hurts a drink to have too much mint. I'm going to give it a little bit of simple syrup. I'm going to start my muddling. That okay. apple's a tough character there. I would cut it up a little more, no? Yeah, Pretty next time I will next time we'll dice it a little finer. For the people at home, so you don't... Smells good. That's when you need smell-o-vision. Smell-o-phone. I'm gonna put a nice healthy shot of our gin. Today I'm using Tangeray gin. Tangeray people, hope you see this. I'm gonna put some ice in our shaker. And shake away. Over your head with a smile on your face. This is a nice summer, this is a nice spring tasting cocktail. You can probably make a nice pitcher full of these when you, before the friends come over. It even looks nice and before we strain it. I like the way that looks, Kev. Yeah, it looks very refreshing. A little more shaking and we'll serve it up. What kind of glass? I'm going to serve this in a rocks glass full of ice. Would you use ice in here? No, I'm going to double strain that. All right, so you're getting away, getting rid of the particles. Yes, I'm gonna. Uh, Although I think it looks pretty. <laughs> it is pretty, but once we put the garnish in there, we'll have those colors back. I'm gonna make myself a nice little apple fan. So in a fan, you just don't cut to the bottom. No, you cut to the bottom. I just sort of spread them out like in a little paper fan like that. Okay. I'm gonna put a couple of pretty plump grapes in there. Seedless. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna. Double strain it in. There you go, pal. That smells nice. It smells like a garden. It looks pretty. Nice. I'm going to finish off with just a tiny bit of the mint garnish. Oh, I filled that a little too much. That's always a good problem, though. Want me to sip some? Please do. Take it for the team, Karen. Mmm. You like that? I like the mint. That's really good. There we have our space gin smash. That doesn't even taste like gin. That's a problem. That's a problem drink. <coughs> That's a creeper. Just don't just don't drink one after another. Have one. <laughs> Thank you, Kim and Karen. I'm glad you like that. All right. My next drink is called a Kentucky Buck. 
This is uh, nice for a hot summer day. We're gonna start off with muddling a few, a few strawberries and some lemon. Kev, using her shaker glass, the matching one. Yeah, that's my favorite one. So we have strawberries, what else? A little fresh squeezed lemon juice. May I assist you? Please do. I'm not as strong as you are. You're strong in other ways. More? No, that's perfect. I'm gonna give this a little muddle. Another muddle. So Kev, if you wanted to speed this up, let's say you had to make a hundred of these, would you put it in the blender and puree it a little? Yes, and then you could just put a few spoons in each glass and then continue making it. But if you only have be one, a lot of time consuming. Oh yeah, but if you have one customer and it's a and it's a slow day at the bar, go ahead and we don't want any slow do days. the shows. No slow days at the bar. Just a touch of lemon juice. I'm gonna put a nice healthy portion of bourbon in there. Today I'm using bullet, bullet bourbon. Bullet bourbon. <coughs> Come on down. Wow, that's a healthy shot. It sure is. Might be enough for two drinks. That looks pretty too. Yeah, that's a nice color. Give this one a nice healthy shake as well. That is a nice color. Halfway through, I'm gonna start garnishing my glass. So this is the tall and cool? This is a nice tall and cool one. All right. So we're doing a little lemon zest. Yeah, I'm gonna send some of that right down inside the glass, capture those delicious flavors. Spritz it on. I'm just gonna uh, curl it. No, I'm just gonna give it a little, a little loose one, just like that. I'm gonna take a, one of my prettier strawberries. I like it hanging out a little. Right on the end there. Can we move it over. Yeah. So we get the color. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. All right. This one gets a double strain and topped off with ginger beer. All right. Wow, look at that color. I feel it too much. I don't want to have to drink this one, too. That looks sexy. That is a nice color. So would you make this in a mule cup? You could. Wouldn't be able to see all the pretty colors. True. And we're gonna to top this off with some ginger beer. How much for ginger beer? Oh, to the top. What is it like? I guess that might have been an ounce, ounce and a half, two ounces. Okay. There we have our Kentucky Buck. Looking good. That looks pretty. Might want to taste that one too. I'll save, I'll save it for later. My last drink is a called a Leven, lavender watermelon martini. I'm gonna start with some lavender leaves. That smells good too. Yeah. Uh, give it a nice, like rub it in your hand. Mmm. Mm. I'm just gonna pull off some, <laughs> some of the little leaves on the end. Definitely strain this one. Oh yeah. I'm gonna like put that. a little a little lemon juice in there. A little simple syrup. I'm gonna put a nice, I'm gonna put two ounces of kettle one in there. Let's give this a little muddle. It doesn't require much muddling. The lavender comes off pretty strong when you muddle it, so it's not gonna require too thorough a job. Now this is one you couldn't puree because it's too stemmy. You could, uh, if you have the time, you could make yourself some lavender simple, simple syrup. syrup yeah. yeah, just make some simple syrup before it cool. And when you how do you make simple them, syrup? Uh, you, on the stove top, you put equal parts sugar and water. Heat it up till it's clear. When you take it off the stove at that point, just throw a nice big handful of your lavender in there and or whatever and else you cool. want to do. And mint works great. Jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Cilantro, whatever you have. Ice this up. I'm gonna use a little bit of my watermelon juice. It's already in there. Watermelon's a new thing, Kev. It's it. It's in for <laughs> this is the 2017 uh, mixer of choice. 
I'm gonna did give you this a nice shake. Mm -hmm. Did you put any liquor in there? Yes, I did. First thing I did. Mm -hmm. did give this a nice, pretty oh. shake. You use kettle? Yes, I used kettle one today. Is this a strainer? I'm clean. Let me go back in there. That's a little bit full. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Yeah, you can keep that. I'm going to start preparing my glass. Thank you, Karen. Martini, huh? I like it. Yeah. I'm going to. This is too big and clunky for our glass, so I'm going to trim this down to a proper size. I'd say that's about right. I like how the. Uh, triangle of the glass and the triangle of the... I would buy a seedless watermelon. It's hard to even find seeded watermelon anymore. Here we go. I'm going to take my top of my, my little young end of the lavender plant, clean it up a little bit. Stick it in it. Yeah. Take a little spear. Do a piercing. Nice. That's Here we go. And we're going to double strain this guy too. Now don't let the clear color fool you. It's full of delicious flavors. There we have our lavender watermelon martini for you to enjoy on a nice summer day. Wow, that's lovely. Very spring like. Mm hmm. Very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed those cocktails that I made for you today. I hope you come down to Mr. C's and try one sometime. Uh, nice cool drink, nice hot meal with plenty of good friends. You can't go wrong, right at the beautiful, beautiful Jersey Shore. All right, we're gonna give everybody a little sample. We're gonna have, get ready for you to taste them. And while we do that, I am gonna tell you a couple upcoming events. This week we have Restaurant Week, um, Jersey Shore Restaurant Week, which we participate in. It's uh, three courses for $32.17. We also, next Friday, Cocktail Corner, make sure you don't miss it. We have Kettle One coming. It's gonna be a three hour event. We're gonna be making a couple of kettle cocktails. We have a guest bartender. We have some giveaways. We have t-shirts. We have uh, some girls coming, some men coming. So it should be a fun time here at Cocktail Corner. Then last but not least, which we have on our event page right now, is May 21st to Sunday. DJ Rudolph will be doing his artwork and will be displaying it outside under the back tent here. The bar will be open and um, he'll be displaying his artwork, which is a con uh, kind of fun event. We're going to have entertainment. So please do not miss that. He's a great artist, local artist from uh, Oakhurst, actually. So, beginning the sampling, here we go. Why don't you say hi, your first name, and where are you from? Hey guys, Jackie from Asbury and Mariana. Mariana from Asbury. <laughs> we love Mr. Keys. We love you, Jackie and Mariana. Hi, I'm Frida from Kearney. Bob from Eatontown. Another Bob from Tom's River. And Karen from Tom's River. Hi, Richie from Monmouth Beach. Laureen from Monmouth Beach. Chick, you want a taste? This, this first one is a Space Gin Smash. It has muddled grapes, apples, lemon juice, sweet uh, sweetness, and a little gin. Buck, muddled strawberries, lemon juice, and bourbon, with a little ginger beer on top. Yeah, what's in this one again? That one has uh, muddled apples, grapes, gin, 
A little simple syrup. Oh, I'm sorry, Russ. Oh, and meat. This one's there, right? This one needs a little more. Here we are. Gross. Thank you. Which one is this? Go ahead, take that one. That one has bourbon, muddled strawberries, uh, lemon, and ginger beer on top. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, this is lavender, right? Yes, this is a lavender, lavender uh, watermelon martini. Get this one there. Lavender watermelon? This one is good. Thank you. These are two different. Thank you. And they go down. These are like, this is the water, uh, the lavender watermelon martini. Yeah, delicious. That's vodka martini? That one has kind of one vodka in it. Lavender and watermelon. Mm. I'm not a fan of lavender. <laughs> you know what? That's winter lavender, so it's really on the strong, potent side. Spring lavender would be much more mild. Can we get a show of hand? What everyone's favorite right, drink is? Which one do we like better? Number one, the, number one, the, the gin, the gin yeah, yeah. Number, yeah. Okay. number two, <laughs> the Kentucky yeah. Buck. And number three, the lavender watermelon yeah, martini. It's really good. Uh, I see Jackie voted for all three. All three. All three. All three. All three. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Next week with Kettle and uh, high five. I, I earned a high five. Weekend. <laughs> yeah. Signing off here at Allenhurst, New Jersey. Bye. 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 Thank you for trying that today. You guys are real pioneers. <laughs>